Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living and return it with heaven. When I sit here in the early morning hours of peace and quiet, I'm able to do my thing. I don't have some person trying to solicit me, some person trying to judge me, some person trying to evaluate me, some person trying to assess me, and I can just be me. It's true. I lost my home. I lost my wife. I lost my son. There's nothing I can do but say the truth. That was my life for a long time. But in life, we have a right to change directions. We have the right to do different things and do things for misdirection. And the truth is, what I choose for my living right now is my choice. And I've chosen this, this path because people have been impeding the other things that I planned for me, the other things that God had decided for me. But in my life, I'm fully submitted to God. But in your life, what are you submitted to? Are you submitted to the thrill of the kill? Are you submitted to the lie you've been telling yourself? Are you submitted to the boys in the hood? Are you submitted to the girly way you look? Are you submitted to your bitchy ass ways? Or are you submitted to God? You see, you're not submitted to anything. The players in these streets are not submitted to one thing other than the coinage that they can get from capable beings. You see, a capable being goes off to do make a living. But everyone today makes a living a different way. Whether you're a banker, whether you're a financer, whether you're a telecommunications guy, whether you're a computer geek, whether you're an educator, whether you're a trainer, whether you're a mortgage broker, whether you're a realtor, whether you're one of the car salesmen in the streets, it doesn't really matter to me. What matters to me is how you start your day. Do you begin in a godly way? Do you begin saying, thank you God for me being alive today? Thank you God that I still woke up today. Thank you God that I still have a life today. Thank you God for my freedom. Let freedom ring across America today. Do you then take time to pray for parents across our land? Lord, please protect our parents. Please help them know what to do with their children. Please help them be willing to read a fucking book from the 60 plus years we have of child rearing. Please God, protect the children from their parents. Please God, help them to bring out the best souls they can. Please God, help those children to become all the best they can for our land. Please God, help the people. Please God, help the pilgrims. Not at all, but please God, don't allow people to fall. In Jesus' name, we do a lot of things. In Odin's name, I definitely do a lot of magic. But in the life of a man, he has the right to decide who he's going to love, who he's going to take, and who he's going to claim for marriage. But here's the deal. There are immoral people who want their cake and eat it too. They want to be married to you, but they want to have someone else on the side. And that's a van vanity thing for the predators of America. It's a satanic thing, too. Because while we might have one or two people that we deeply love and have intimate relationships with, we don't have the right to be doing our play and having anything we want to on the side of things.